All right, gonna do a quick video here. This is uh, something I bought last year and I misplaced it and I finally found it. Um, I had bought this back when the COVID thing first started happening. I got it on eBay, shipped from Japan, and it took like six months for it to get here. Not because of the seller in Japan, but because it went to Chicago and sat there in a U.S. Postal Service warehouse for quite a long time. I even had to try to track it down, got no answers, and finally one day it showed up, and it was a long time, I think about six months. So um, you can see it has U.S. Customs uh, tape exa examined and everything. You're about to see what it is. Um, I collect Japanese pellet guns, plastic shooting pellet guns. They're kind of like, I guess you consider them toys or maybe model guns. They were the predecessor to Airsoft. And you first, I first saw them uh, in the 80s advertised in the back of gun magazines as uh, pellet guns. I'm going to do a whole series of videos on those from the magazines themselves. So while I'm searching for those on eBay, which I've been looking for probably close to 20 years for these things, I've run across other similar guns that were probably only available in Japan, and that's what this one is. I've never seen this particular item before, so let's just get into it. So, I've been really anxious to look at this and display it and get it all. So I misplaced it, I finally found it, so bear with me. Yeah, as you can see, Customs probably took it out, and what do we got here? Okay. Uh, Dear Jacob Watson, hello, I sold nice, I sold toys nice to you. Secura Manamide Mitosa Market. Thank you very much for choosing my items along with a lot of other choices. If you're looking for something again, even if it's not on my listing page, please feel free to ask me. I get, I'll get reasonable and good quality items hard to find in your country. I'm looking forward to dealing with you soon. Thank you so much and best regards. Secura Minamide, Minamidi, Minamide, Minamide. Yeah. Okay. P.S. I have been to United States before. I love United States. I would say. The United States is my second home. It is great pleasure to customers. So that's typical of a Japanese seller. Um, they're usually always very thoughtful and sweet. I like to go to Japan. I love everything about Japan. So I'm gonna keep that. And there's a little origami, origami thing. They've sent these before. Stuff like that, so cool. All right, so. Alright, so it looks like we got, <laughs> we got some pellets. Alright, so here's the lid. Let me just get this thing going. We've been, been digging around long enough. Alright, so here we go. It's a Luger. And it's got pellets. And so I guess we'll take it from the top. There's the case. Like the, the display box. It's like uh, like styrene. I don't know what happened here. It looks like something something melted onto it. Maybe like looks like some paper got fused while it was melted. Who knows? I'll clean it all up eventually. All right. So okay. Toyo cap. I guess instead of Toyota, it's Toyo cap. Eight ring caps with like a like a fireworks looking uh, demon face guy. I guess it's supposed to be like a gun. See, a lot of times they kind of mix like gunfighter theme and spy theme. And okay, so it's a set of ring caps made in Japan. 
there's these revolvers that I have that actually, it's pretty cool. You uh, put the caps in like a regular ring cap gun and then you put bullets in front and then the firing of the cap actually shoots the plastic bullet out, kind of like a real gun. Um, something like that would probably not go over. I guess it'd be similar to the Mattel shooting shell from the 60s that was before my time. Let's see, I don't want to mess up this box. Dang it. Okay. There's, oh, that's cool. There's like a little cap gun, like a little revolver on there. And it's got the ring caps. All right, it's gotta be some way to, I'm gonna eventually build a big display of all these things. So, Luger. Luger, automatic, ABS, trademark, modern toys. You see that modern toys a lot in that safety toy, that ST logo, a lot of Japanese toys. Uh, there's a Falcon. I think I got another uh, toy gun that's a Falcon brand. So these pellets are going everywhere. Um, that one's kind of like a different gun. So I think what you had in here was you had the pellets, okay? You had the pellets in their own case. And then sometimes you see, and here's like, like they look like cartridges. Let's come out of there. I'm not going to try to take them out. I don't know what they're, what they're, look like they're glued in there. That just might be for aesthetics. Like here's your, your, your pistol in its case with its, you know, cartridges. Obviously that's not what they shoot. So that would be in there. Maybe the, the pellets would be behind there and that's how that's, you know, it looks whatever. It's pretty cool. Um, all right, looks like the, I'm not gonna turn it upside down. It was not that on the back. It does have a um, hole where you could hang it on a wall um, or a nail hole. Looks like the flocking, looks like that split right there. Um, I don't know if there's. Okay. No instructions or anything. It's kind of unfortunate that that's split but well whatever okay so here's the luger sorry got a cat in the background okay i've never seen a luger sorry about that i've never seen a luger that was or a toy gun that was like a bronze color so Luger Model 72 Falcon, made in Japan. It's pretty heavy. I mean, it feels like it's plastic. So on a real Luger, this is where your magazine release would be. Magazine comes out. That, that's metal right there, I think. <laughs> so there's some of these, there's like a follower you can pull down. Oh, you're, there you go, there you go. Which presents its own problem because sometimes they don't, they get stovepipe like that. Let's put three in and see what happens. It's kind of loose, the spring is. Okay, so that doesn't move. So in a real Luger, that doesn't move. Wait, does it? In a real Luger, you work the toggle action. I'm kind of nervous because some of these, okay. I don't remember if it said that it worked in the description or not. Oh, okay, when you pull the trigger, the toggle goes up. I'm gonna shoot at the window here. Yeah, it works. The trigger's metal.
<laughs> I would have loved this when I was like 12 years old, 11 years old. Well, I still love it, but I liked toy guns when I was little, and there was nothing this cool when I was little. There was no airsoft. I grew up in the 80s. Um, there wasn't airsoft at Walmart like there is now. So here's my Falcon Luger. Um, it's going to look good in the display with other guns like this when I finally make a display. Um, sorry, the cats are going crazy. Uh, yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Now I can finally, now that I found it, I got it out of the box. I can get rid of this packing material. Um, I don't, I guess the caps were like a freebie. Um, I got to get all these pellets rounded up and then I'll maybe take a few good pictures of it for the uh, thumbnail and for the Instagram. Follow me over at Instagram. There's a link on my banner on YouTube and uh, I post all kinds of other stuff there. So thanks for watching. There'll be a lot more videos like this coming in the future. 